I always was interested in art since I was a wee girl, um, but it was mostly when I come home from school and I would just sit till my tea was ready. I would sit with a wee book and it was styles that I did, you know, like dress styles. I did all these wee dresses and thing with them all, coloured them and put different wee bits and pieces on them. Um, and I did that. And then it, as I got older, it was other things I would try. Um, but since I would say... 1987 I've been more um, serious with with my art. Sometimes it takes a wee while for to uh, get the colour that you're looking for. And it's trial and error. Um, in 1989 I started a wee art class myself, um, but how I originally started, I'm trying to think of the date, um, and it was when my daughter, my oldest daughter, went up to high school, and I was really frightened in case she got bullied, because she was quite quiet, and I thought, and they had, at that time, they had um, adult um, learning classes, so I opted for the art, I was a member of the art club at the time, and I went up there and I ended up doing my hires, my six year studies, and then I went on to college. I find it difficult to talk and work like this at the same time, so. When I started uh, drawing and painting at first, um, I was particularly interested in old buildings um, in Greenock in my hometown. Um, and I just keep sketch pads of places of interest and things that interest me, the colours that interest me, but it's changed over the years um, as I sort of go on. Um, the art club has been going for a hundred and odd years um, and it's still very well attended and every Tuesday night, if it was nice, we used to go out in the summer, we used to go out and draw along the front or uh, maybe over by the Battery Park or down at the Meagle and uh, this was over at Ashton um, on the Tuesday night when I, I drew a couple of yachts that was there. Um, I've got the little marks here of the colours, uh, dark red and things like that and what way the sky was, what way the sea was on that particular night um, and the reflections in the sea. Um, I never ever did a painting from that but I obviously did that for to use it, or intending to use it at one time. Uh, that was on a Tuesday night, and this was on a Sunday afternoon. Um, I went back over that way because that way interests me. I love the hills across the water. Um, and this was a rough and choppy sea on the Sunday afternoon. And again, I've got the red and white and different, different colours of uh, the bits and bobs and the mooring and everything. Um, this was uh, a wee drawing I did of a man who was um, painting his boat. I actually think he was taking the old paintwork off it, uh, ready to paint it. And that was quite a, a, a usual scene that you would see, especially on a Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Um, when people were not working and you went down the docks and there was lots of wee fishing boats and just lovely wee boats and broken boats and everything. When I'm doing rocks or when I'm doing uh, water, especially at the front of the water here, I tend to use cling film quite a bit uh, because when you do, when you wet, when you put the paint on and you put the cling film on top and you leave it to dry for a wee while, you've got all these nice wee creases uh, that looks like cracks in the rock. You get the creases of the cling film. Well, at the moment, I'm just going over uh, a picture of the Waterman's Cottage, which is up the cut in Greenock. Um, and that's a wee favourite place. Um, I've already painted it, and I'm now going over it with a palette knife to give it texture. Or some of it texture. I'll know be I'll not be knife painting the lot, but um, just a sort of foreground and bits of the wall. And because I've started, it usually um, when you start a painting, the colours that you start with 
are what you carry right through your painting and that's to give it balance um, and at this stage as well when you're almost finished um, you're just looking to see where do I need to put a mark next um, I've livened these up a wee bit these were very very dull and uh, so I've kind of livened these up a wee bit so that I can then put a reflection in the in the water here and I'm not really thinking of what goes where I'm just kind of putting in what I think at the moment Thank you. 